Hey everybody, it's Dr. Deb with Mindful Effect, and I was faced with a recent business decision that makes me think about the hashtag Me Too. The questions became, if I became silent about this issue and this business decision, then how am I being part of change? If I stayed silent, then how would I be complicit? If I stayed silent, then what would it mean for my daughter, for my daughter's children, as well as my other sisters in business and my dear friends. Faced with this business decision, I didn't take it lightly. I did what everybody teaches you to do, which is to go out and ask colleagues questions, to talk with you know, business advisors, business colleagues, and present this issue to them. Evaluate all the risks, all of the collected data, and identify the best possible option. Even doing that best possible option I really didn't know what to do until my daughter came home from school. And she faced, was faced with a question asking me what she should do in a situation because she's part of the they them project and uses they them pronouns. And as I looked at my daughter, I thought to myself, I have my decision, I know my answer because never again do I ever want another woman to have to say me too. Never again do I want to be faced with a business decision that I can tell you right now that my male colleagues have never been intimidated in this way, that they have never been threatened in business in this way. So never again, me too. Never again could I say to my daughter, you have to tolerate being intimidated. You have to tolerate and accept being abused in the workplace. Never again will she or her friends or my granddaughters or my sisters in business ever have to face making this decision thinking that they are alone because it stops today. And last Friday, I made that decision. No more, me too. This is Dr. Devlin with Mindful Effect. Me too, no more.